So you wanna make money through cooking on Black Desert Online. Well, I've made pretty much every single mistake possible to get to Master 2. And I'm gonna be sharing my experience so that you don't do all the mistakes that I did. Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about cooking and how to get to master relatively quickly as well as make some money on the side and try to avoid wasting money. So first of all, you're going to start at beginner one in cooking. So a lot of guides out there tell you to make beer first because beer is used for your workers and is relatively simple. You just need corn, wheat or potatoes, which are very accessible in the very beginning of the game. However, my dumbass made beer all the way to artisan one, which is probably not a good idea because you're going to end up with a chest like this. You're going to see here that I have 16,000 beer. I've got another 10,000 in Velia. So I have so much beer that I don't know what to use it for. And this is basically wasted money because it's sitting there. I've got so much of it that I'm never going to finish using it. I'm constantly trying to use it as much as possible, but it's going to take forever to get through this. I could throw it on the market, but it's not going to make that much money and it would probably crash the beer market as well. So I don't want to do that. So what I recommend people to do is just to make beer until you have a couple thousand, maybe like 2000, 3000 beer. So you're good for a while and then you can start focusing on vinegar and the reason why I recommend making vinegar is because we will be using the vinegar to make pickled vegetables and with the pickled vegetables we will be able to wrap them up into imperial crates which will sell for a good amount of money so let's go out here to check the imperial trader here's the imperial trader we're gonna go to exchange and right here the professional cooking box you can see that's 300,000 each and it'll cost you 18 pickled vegetables in order to make one of these boxes so this is a good source of money in the beginning basically because you're making money in order to buy the materials that you need to create more pickled vegetables and there's a positive cycle there so you could constantly be making money as well as gaining exp so when do you stop making pickled vegetables you can make pickled vegetables all the way until master if you want or you can start at artisanal and here's the gray area that comes in so what do i mean by that it means depending on what activities you like to do what life skills you enjoy doing is going to determine what you should be cooking so for me after i hit artisan i stopped making pickled vegetables the reason for that was because i was making grilled sausages so why grilled sausages all of a sudden there's several reasons the main reason is because i do gathering so you can see here that I have Tet Logia gear, you know, all my accessories are Tet, blah, blah, blah. And I have a Tet Manos butcher knife. But most of you guys are not going to have this amount of gear, but maybe you enjoy the activity of gathering. Maybe you want to level up your gathering skill. So you can see here that my gathering skill is Artisan 4. And over here, when I click on learn more, you can see that my butchering stat is 950 which means that I'm in the 950 bracket, which basically gives me a high chance of getting Kafra stones, sharps as well hards, and just a lot of goodies in order to make more income. So I was very incentivized due to my gear and my high gathering stat in order to go gather more meat. And because of that, I have a large amount of wolf meat, a large amount of lamb meat. And so I was leaning towards making meat dishes because I had a lot of meat because I was incentivized to do gathering due to my high gathering stats. So why grilled sausages specifically? And that's because I also do farming. And because I've always did farming, I get pepper as well as onions. So I have five farms planting pepper and I have five farms planting onions. And so the recipe to make grilled sausages is meat, onion, pepper, and salt. So I already have the meat, the onions, and the peppers. Because I do farming, I get these two. I gather a lot of meat, and I have the meat. And the salt I just buy from the store. So it made sense for me to make a lot of grilled sausages. And with the grilled sausages, I can pack them together and make the artisanal boxes, which give me a little bit more money. So that sounds all good and dandy, right? So why did I say that this was a mistake? And the main reason was because I'm not being very effective with all the stuff that I'm crafting. So I made a bunch of vinegar, great. I made a bunch of pickled vegetables, great. But am I going to be using these pickled vegetables? Am I going to be using this vinegar for other things? I was not being efficient with the stuff I was making. I was just mass producing whatever I could and just kind of winging it. And if I could go back in time, what I would do is I would plan my dishes a little bit more meticulously. So let's say that I'm making a bunch of vinegar. 
then I would look at, okay, what recipes can I make with vinegar? Sure, I can make pickled vegetables, but what should I use the pickled vegetables for after I make a bunch of them? And what the pickled vegetables could have been used for is dark pudding. So you can see here, dark pudding requires chicken meat, requires oatmeal, requires blood, and requires pickled vegetables. So I could have used this recipe and be like, okay, so I'm making a ton of pickled vegetables because I want to prepare for dark pudding, which is used to make master cooking boxes, which allow you to get 550,000 per box. And then because of that, now I'll be like, okay, instead of investing so much into my buttering staff, maybe I'll put more emphasis on my fluid collecting because blood is needed. So blood is a fluid, so I need higher fluid collecting stat. And then another thing I would look at would be oatmeal. Be like, okay, what exactly does oatmeal need? So over here, I click on oatmeal. So I would need flour, I would need honey, onions, as well as milk. And because of that, I'll be like, okay, so my bottleneck is probably going to be the milk. So maybe I would have to make another character in order to gather milk. Or maybe in my farms, instead of planting uh, onions and peppers, I would be like onions and haystacks. So I can get the milk through farming without wasting energy. And then as for the flour, then I would have to set a time. Let's say that I'm out of energy. I would have a character to use grinding in order to grind potatoes or wheat or corn into flour so that I'm well stocked and ready. And basically, it's just thinking ahead. Like, I did not think ahead, and I ended up with a bunch of things I didn't really need, right? Like, do I really need 16,000 beer? No. Do I really need 8,200 pickled vegetables? No. And do I really need this much vinegar? I salvaged the vinegar. I had a lot more vinegar before. I had like 15,000 vinegar or something. So how did I salvage the vinegar? Simply by creating lean meat salads. So lean meat salads... I use eight meat, I use two vinegar, four dressing, and three pepper. So this is the current recipe that I've been using in order to salvage everything because dressing is quite simple. Dressing, I just need a lot of eggs, olive oil, salt, and water. You can just buy this from the store, so that doesn't matter. So my only bottleneck is eggs. So as for eggs, I have two nodes which are collecting eggs for me. They're both in Velia. If we press M, go up here to Velia, and you'll see right here at Finto Farm, right here, there is a chicken meat production. So you can see here that I put a professional goblin worker over here, and then there's another farm right here at Batarli Farm. Click here, and right here, another node for chicken. I have a professional human worker here because these are the only two nodes that I know of that gives you eggs. It gives you chicken meats and eggs. So uh, that's pretty nice because I could always use the chicken meat for my dark pudding. So basically I'm able to rotate through different dishes depending on what I have at the time. But at the moment, the main dish that I am making is the lean meat salad and I'm making these into the master cook boxes and cashing out. I make almost 100 mil every single day just from the turn-ins. Keep in mind you do get extra money the higher your cooking mastery is. So you can see here when you click on learn more, you can see my cooking mastery is 493. And if you read at the very bottom, it says extra profit plus 18%. So the higher this mastery stat is, the more profit you gain. So you could invest on some Logia clothes to just put on as you turn in the boxes. That will net you extra profit. So for me, whenever I'm cooking, I just wear the silver embroidered cook's clothes simply because it reduces cooking time by four seconds. So I cook a little bit faster. And when I'm about to hand in the master boxes, I would switch to a Logia's cook's clothes. Thus, it'll boost my cooking mastery and thus it'll give me more extra profit per box I hand in. So that's basically what I've learned from cooking. There's one more thing and that is the reset time. So let's go out over here. Let's talk to Imperial Trader. So top left right here, you see the daily delivery quantity. So this is based off half of your contribution points. So the higher contribution points you have, the more boxes you could turn in every single day. So over here, you can see that I have 301 contribution points, which means that I can hand in 150 boxes every single day. So when does this reset? This resets at 8 p.m. EST. That is every single day, 8 p.m. EST. But here's the catch. Here, here's the thing that took me forever to find out. You need to close the game and reopen the game before this daily delivery quantity resets. So let's say I was AFK fishing until 8 p.m. EST and I just immediately walk up to this trader. The daily delivery quantity will still be zero out of 150, even though it technically already reset. I have to close my game, reopen it, and then this thing will become 150 out of 150 and I can sell my boxes. 
As for the quantity over here, you can see that the master cooking boxes is currently zero, which means that she won't buy any more of these boxes. Even if I had some in my inventory, I wouldn't be able to sell it to her simply because she's met her quota and she won't buy any more. This resets every three hours starting at 8 p.m. EST. So 8 p.m. EST is the first time that everything resets. And let's say that I missed it. Let's say I come in at 9 p.m. EST and the master cooking boxes are zero, right? So I would have to wait three hours. So 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 p.m. EST will be the next time this shop refreshes and she'll buy more master cooking boxes or more artisanal or professional or whatever cooking boxes you're selling her. This works the same way with the alchemy stuff as well in case you're selling alchemy boxes instead of uh, cooking boxes. But it's just every three hours starting at reset time, which is 8 p.m. EST, okay? So this took me forever 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 to find out and like i tried looking on google and maybe i'm just retarded and i couldn't find anything but it took me ages to find out but now i know but that's basically it if you guys have any questions about cooking that you'd like to ask or if you guys would like me to make any specific videos about black desert online do let me know in the comment section below i've been playing this game a lot way more than i should be but i am still pretty much addicted to this game it's very very fun I enjoy making money a lot. You guys could probably tell that the Tet Manos Butcher Knife as well as like all the Tet Logia gear. This did not come cheap. This took a lot of time, a lot of grinding. If you guys want to know how I made all this money to afford all of these things, um, let me know about that in the comment section below and I'll probably make a video about it if there's enough people that want to know. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, the 